the Senate is stunned and grieving this morning. Our dear friend and former colleague, Senator Mike Inslee, passed away last night following a serious bike accident this past weekend. Mike was 77 years old and only about seven months into retirement. Our friend was blessed with a great American life, and he lived it well. Mike was hugely accomplished, but at the same time, humble. He was powerful. He was influential, but earnest and deeply kind. He was ambitious, but on behalf of the people of Wyoming, not personal gain or glory. Mike's quarter century career in the U.S. Senate kept a storied career in public service. He was elected mayor of Gillette, Wyoming, at just 30 years old. He was a young husband running a family business, but we saw an opportunity to put his shoulder to help his neighbors. Well, to be more precise, our former colleague and Mike's predecessor, Al Simpson, gave him a not so subtle nudge. It was more like uh, conscription. Gillette needed help, and this up-and-comer was exactly what the booming town needed at that time. Diana agreed to let Mike throw his hat in the ring, and the rest is history. The mayor's office eventually gave way to the Wyoming House, then the state senate, and then this senate. Here, Mike built a two-part reputation that might have struck people as contradictory. On the one hand, Mike was a principled, hard-nosed conservative. He chaired the help committee and the budget committee with a small businessman's painstaking financial eye. In fact, when he first unpacked his office, Mike was the Senate's only trained accountant. He was central to getting generational tax reform off the starting blocks. He was a policy leader in our conference. But at the same time, this principal Westerner was also universally known as one of the kindest, most thoughtful, most respectful senators on either side of the aisle. Mike's famous 80-20 rule helped him find bipartisan common ground on a long list of significant issues. I know he was particularly proud of his focus on the global fight against AIDS. On the Health Committee, Mike cut important deals with his counterpart and ideological opposite, Ted Kennedy. Neither senator walked away from his principles. They just wanted to find where those principles actually fit together. Mike's policy wins were many. But at the end of the day, Mike knew what everyone else around here knew. His greatest accomplishment was winning Diana's hand and building their family together. Their marriage, their partnership, was a Senate institution unto itself. The Inslee's kindness overflowed into legendary parties and generous gifts for the entire Senate community, especially the behind-the-scenes all-stars who do not get thanked nearly enough. So Mike Inslee departed the Senate having changed policy and law for the better because of his mind, and now he's departed this life having changed his friends and his colleagues for the better because of his heart. Today, the entire Senate stands in solidarity with Diana at this tragic time, which has come entirely too soon. Our prayers are with her, the three children and their grandchildren, and the entire family. 